Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly This News Recap, the show where I give you all of the news from the West End and UK Touring Theatre from the past week, and I do it the only way I know how. Chaotically. <laughs> so if you want to stay up to date with all of the theatre from the UK that I can possibly fit into one video, it's mostly touring, mostly West End, uh, make sure you hit subscribe. I do these every single week to varying levels of success. <laughs> but I'm always here. I always do them. Let's start, as we always do, with our casting news this week. I feel like I'm a little bit behind myself this week. I, I've put this document together like five minutes ago. Normally I do it throughout the week. I've been so busy this week. I've been in London every single day. I've been getting that content for you guys this week. And I'm very tired because of it. <laughs> so let's start with casting. There's only one casting story this week. And actually this wasn't officially announced. Um, on Wednesday, Georgina Honora, star queen of the West End, a queen of my heart, queen of the West End, a uh, rising star of her own right, just casually announced that that evening she was going on as Angelica Skyler in Hamilton. Just, just casually bamboozled us all. There was no official announcement. And she, she's Angelica Skyler now in, in the West End. Uh, number one, I wish I had known because I would have been there. Uh, Georgina Anura is exactly who I needed in Hamilton to get me back to Hamilton. Oh my god, that is fantastic casting. Two, we don't even know how long she's in the show for because she's currently taking over for the current Angelica who is on maternity leave. So how long is she going to be in it? Who knows? She's in another show this summer, so it can't be for that long. Um, so if you want to see Georgina Honora uh, in Hamilton, that's something you can do now. From now? <laughs> there was no lead up to this. We were not Old. So make sure you go see Hamilton. I will be too. And that's all your casting news this week. That's everything. That's just, that's all of it. Um, we're going to move on to miscellaneous news. There was none. We're going to now move on to concerts where we can actually see some other casting news. I, I, I Just like Georgina Anura, I did bamboozle you. <laughs> there is more casting news. It's just in the concert section. <laughs> So, we're going to start with Spring Awakening. I announced in the last weekly news recap what we were told at uh, the Watson Stage Awards that Jamie Moscato will be playing Melchior Gabor and we will have some returning cast members from the original West End production. And then on the day, about an hour after I had uploaded my video to YouTube, they announced the rest of the cast. <laughs> well, great timing. I had to wait a whole week for this one. <laughs> So the full cast for Spring Awakening are as thus. We have Lucy Mae Barker as Ilsa. We have Natasha Barnes as Anna. We have Harry McIntyre as Ernst. We have Hayley Gallivan as Martha. Evelyn Hoskins as Tia. Edward Judge as Otto. Jane Moscato as Melchior. Josh Slovic as George. Charlotte Wakefield as Wendler. And some returning cast members who will be in the description down below. That went strangely smoothly. Normally, I have to re-record going through cast members' names about 50 times. That went strangely smoothly. So a lot of these are, I, I think all of these, uh, are the original cast members from the show. I don't think it was Jane Moscato. Jane Moscato was not the original Melchior Gabor, though. Because that was uh, a Nurin Barnard, who is actually going on to be in Doctor Who next season. So... Watch out for a Nurin Barnard in, in Doctor Who. I, that's probably not how you pronounce his name. Somebody tell me how you pronounce... That's not how you pronounce his name. I could look it up. <laughs> Anirin. A Anirin. Anirin? Anirin. I'm really excited to see this Spring Awakening concert, if I can get tickets, because they're very expensive, and I probably can't. Next up, a concert that is already sold out, both of its performances, so what's the point of me telling you? <laughs> Star Kid are doing a concert in the UK. It's called It's Star Kid, in it, which you can tell was chosen by an American. <laughs> if you want to see this, I'm not sure if you can anymore, because I'm pretty sure both the original performance that they announced and the matinee they added and sold on Friday are Probably both sold out. I'm telling you now, if you're just finding out, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can only do this once a week. I'm, I'm very sorry. 
And finally, in concert news week, we got the rest of the cast for the Maiden Dagenham concert. Uh, we already knew that Pixie Lott, Killian Donnelly, and Bonnie Langford will be starring in the show, but now we know the rest of the cast, including Trevor Dion Nicholas, Peter Duncan, and Geraldine Sackdolan, a newcomer, a third year Erdan student who will be playing the role of Sandra. We also have our uh, supporting cast and our ensemble, who will be in the description down below. This is it exciting. I I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to the main Dagenham's concert, but it's nice to see these cast members in it. And I do love Bonnie Langford and Trevor Deal Nicholas. Oh, I should try and go to this one. And that's it for our casting concert news. All of that, everything, I'm done. That That's it. That's all you're getting for that one. Now we can move on to our transfers and new productions. Um, there's two shows this week that weren't officially announced. This was, this was a week for theatre news that I had to find out on the internet. That not Not through, like, emails or, like, new sites this was the week of here's here's something that they've kind of announced but haven't officially announced it yet first off pride and prejudice sort of will be going back on tour they announced on social media that they will be returning to a uk tour this year and it will be leading into next year the details are fairly scarce at the moment we don't know which venues they're going to i assume when they do their official announcement that will be what they're announcing but for now, we just know that uh, Pride and Prejudice sort of is returning. And actually, the announcement that they made on their socials says that it will be touring until 2026. So if you are a fan of Pride and Prejudice sort of, which if you aren't, you should be because it's a great show. Uh, you've got it for a while. <laughs> so that's great. And also announced on social media this week that we are getting a transfer of the Broadway production of Slave Play. This was a off-Broadway production that transferred to Broadway. Um, and they announced on social media that they are looking to transfer and have actually had some subtle marketing pop up around London. While I was walking down Soho the other day with Mickey, we both noticed a poster on the wall that was suspiciously looking like Slave Plays marketing. It's very subtle. If, if you don't know the show too much, you won't even notice that it is Slave Play, but the text is the same. And... Yeah, I'm very interesting. I don't know a lot about Slave Play, so I've heard good things. So I'm going to have to check it out when it comes over. When is it coming over? Don't know. Which theatre is it going to? Don't know. They announced it on social media that it's coming, but we don't know things yet. And when I do know things, I will tell you, because that's my job. That's what I do now. <laughs> I, that's my job. Next up, something that did get officially announced, thank thank the Lord, <laughs> is, is Birdsong. A adaptation of the classic novel Birdsong will be going on a UK tour this autumn. This book uh, about a World War I tale is going to be making a brand new production in 2024, marking the 30th anniversary of the best-selling novel. And it has multiple tour dates that I will happily read for you right now. <clears throat> It will open in the Salisbury Playhouse from the 6th to the 14th of September before going to Lee's Playhouse from the 17th of September, uh, Cambridge Arts Theatre from the 23rd of September, Liverpool Playhouse from the 8th of October, Theatre Royal Nottingham from the 15th of October, Everyman Theatre Cheltenham from the 22nd of October, Chichester Theatre... Let's try that one again, shall we? <laughs> Chichester Festival Theatre from the 4th of November. Norwich Theatre Royal from the 12th of November. And Mulvern Theatre from the 19th of November. Oh, I was doing so well at filming this one. And now I failed. Anyway, if you want to see the, this play, those are your dates. Go and see it. Anyway. And this is why we say this series is chaotic, kids. Uh, next up, we have two seasons that were announced this week. I mean, three seasons, but I'm only going to say one thing out of the third season. Um, I'm going to focus uh, mainly on the London-centric seasons, uh, which are the Amida season that was announced. Uh, this is a lot of plays. I was a little bit sad because normally Amida is very good at putting musicals into their season. Like, we've had Tammy Faye there. We have Secret Life of Bees. We have Cold War. Uh, we've had loads of really great musicals uh, stationed at the Amida recently, and this season is very play-heavy. So I feel like 
after this because they haven't announced what's happening in December 2024. So maybe that's going to be our musical from the Amida. But the plays that they have announced are as follows. We have the UK premiere of The Comeuppance by Brandon Jacob Jenkins, which is a great name. That's a fantastic name. This is a play that follows a group of friends coming together before their high school reunion. And that will be playing from Saturday the 6th of April to Saturday the 18th of May. Next up, we have Alma Mater, a play by Kendall Fever, which is scheduled from Tuesday the 11th of June to Saturday the 20th of July and is directed by Polly Findlay. This is a drama that, you know, you can assume from the name, uh, is diving into campus culture and activism. And we have some initial casting for this one as well, uh, which is uh, Natalie Armin, Phoebe Campbell, Liv Hill, Liam Lau Fernandez, Leah Williams and Susanna Wise. We also have a UK premiere of The Years, an adaptation of a novel which is being directed by Aline Arbo, which uh, offers snapshots of one's life against the backdrop of post-war Europe. This play is running from the 27th of July to the 31st of August. And then finally, this season concludes with the first repertory offering at the Amida, featuring Roots by Arnold Wesker and Look Back in Anger by Josh Osborne. These are both scheduled from Tuesday the 10th of September to Saturday the 30th of November. So if you love a good play, there is a great season happening at the Almeida. And moving on to another London-based venue, this time we're heading over to Hammersmith for the Lyric Hammersmith's new season. Uh, this season is kicking off with uh, the play Our Country's Good, uh, diving into themes of justice and morality, uh, and it is about uh, the old system of crime and punishment where we used to send prisoners to Australia. Our Country's Good is going to be running from the 5th of September to the 5th of October, which is a very neat one month run. And I enjoy that. <laughs> the lyric is then going to be uh, presenting a co-production of A Raisin in the Sun. This will be staged in both here and the Lee's Playhouse, Nottingham Playhouse and Headlong. Uh, this is going to be at the Lyric Hammersmith from the 8th of October to the 2nd of November. Then they're going into their typical panto, this year's one being Aladdin. And finally, in 2025, the Lyric will present uh, a Broadway musical, Play On, which is inspired by Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. This is going to be taking audiences into 90s, 40s Harlem, featuring the music of Duke Ellington. This is a musical having its London premiere and will be premiering from the 28th of January to the 22nd of February 2025 and then will be going on a UK tour. This is being a co-produced with a lot of different theatres, including the Belgrade, Birmingham Hippodrome, Bristol, Old Vic, Liverpool's Everyman Playhouse and Wiltshire Creative. That's two big old seasons for you. I did it. I told you the seasons. I did that. And now we can talk about Chichester. Chichester announced their season as well. I'm not going to go into all of the different things they announced. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to their website if you want to check out some of the other things they announced this week. But one thing I'm going to pull out from their season is that they announced that they will be reviving Oliver. Now, it hasn't been very long since we last saw Oliver revived regionally because it played uh, in Leeds in the round this Christmas. Or last Christmas, I guess. Last Christmas, I revived Oliver. But the very next year, you did it again. <laughs> but what's interesting about this regional revival is that this is being produced by Cameron McIntosh. Now, we have known for a while, it has been rumoured and circulated that Cameron McIntosh wanted to bring back Oliver again. This is something Cameron McIntosh like, really stands by. He really loves to make sure that every generation manages to have a revival of Oliver. But it's very interesting to see him produce it regionally first. We can assume that after this regional production, they will transfer it to the West End. I have heard whisperings of a theatre, which I'm not going to name because it's not official. But... For this regional premiere, the cast will feature Simon Lipkin as Fagan, great choice, Shanae Holmes as Nancy, great choice, Aaron Sidwell as Bill Sykes, I'm not as familiar, but I'm sure it's a great choice, and Billy Jenkins as the Artful Dodger, as well as Philip Franks as Mr. Brownlow, and further casting to be announced. So yes, very interesting news here. I await 
to see the future of this production of Oliver. Hopefully I'll be able to get over to Chichester to be one of the first people to see it. But we'll have to wait and see. And finally, this week, the news that everyone has been waiting for. What is Toby Marlowe and Lucy Moss's new musical? It's Why Am I So Single? This is a new musical, semi-autobiographical, about two writers struggling to write their second musical, while also embroiled in romantic woes. We also have some initial casting for this show, including Joe Foster, Lisa Tully, and Noah Thomas. Uh, Foster and Thomas both returning to their roles that they played in the initial workshop last year. I went to the launch of this show uh, last week, and oh my god, I'm so ready. The The songs that they showed us are already perfect. They're so good. They're so boppy, so catchy. Everything you love about Six, but with something new about it. And that they did announce that it will be a two-act musical. So it's going to be exciting to see a full-length musical from, from Lucy and Toby. I'm so, so hyped for this. And I hope you are too. So that's all your thin news for this week. I did it. Woohoo! Yippee! What was your favourite news story this week? Let me know everything in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps on the channel. Maybe I'll get slightly more chaotic or less chaotic if you subscribe. Here's some links to my videos on screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. I, my Instagram looks pretty. You should, you should follow me on Instagram if you don't. But that's it for me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye!